if you snooze, you lose. Sharon Hornell's from here with my pajama grandma uh, face mask from an event I went to and a little baby doll belonged to my daughter and she's got the eyes that open and close. Meaning if you're asleep, if you're asleep on the job, if you're asleep in your life, you might miss out on some opportunities. I guess I can just hold her. She's about the size of my granddaughter, so it's kind of fun to just sit her on my lap. If you snooze, you lose. What does this expression, this proverb, this idiom, what does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your life and in your business right now? Well, I love this expression. Guarantee I've said it hundreds of times and probably my parents told me it and other people have said it to me uh, in competitive situations uh, in business and in life, if you snooze, you lose. If you hold back, if you wait, if you show up late, if you uh, take a long time to make a decision, you might miss out on a specific opportunity. I want to throw a caveat in there. We never actually miss out on opportunities. We never miss out on that once in a lifetime chance, that once in a lifetime opportunity. If you were ready for the opportunity, if you were prepared, you would have won the opportunity. You would have taken advantage of it. But if you're not, it's just a lesson to be prepared and get ready next time. This exp this expression it became popular in the late 20th century. It was actually uh, in a 1968 TV commercial from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, my home state, for a mattress company. And I want to say the guy's name was Wilbur Krosh. Kowski or something, something that sounds Polish and very Wisconsin, or yeah, or I think it was probably Polish, but it might have been German. I don't know. Anyway, his wife wrote a commercial and he did a TV commercial for his mattress store about if you snooze, you lose. So if you snooze and miss out on their sale, you miss out. Well, of course, they had more sales as all businesses do. So do you really miss out on that opportunity or you just have to wait for it to come around the next time? You usually have to wait for it to come around the next time. But sometimes we miss out on specific opportunities. We miss out on a sale. We miss out on an opportunity to ask someone out on a date or to have a relationship with somebody because somebody else doesn't wait around and they do talk to the person even though we're afraid or whatever the situation. Uh, we, um, I totally lost what I was thinking about. We miss opportunities, but we, we don't miss the ones that are really for us. If we missed an opportunity, we usually missed it for a reason. Maybe we're not completely qualified for the job, or maybe we're not qualified to deal with a particular customer or group of customers in our business. Uh, slow decision-making processes really result in the majority of our missed opportunities. Late for a job interview and you don't get the job because you don't even get interviewed because you were late for the interview. Uh, late in making deadlines. If you have a weekly report due every Friday at noon and you consistently turn yours in, Friday at 1 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon after your boss has already left, chances are you're going to have some performance issues. You're going to have to change some things or you're going to have to uh, make alterations in your schedule or when you do things so that you can meet the deadlines and the timelines that are set for you. Uh, think of being late to work. Some people are incessantly late to work when all they really need to do is take into account the variables on their way to work and just get up and leave half an hour early or do whatever they have to to make sure they're there when people expect them to be there. Uh, have I been late for work? Heck yeah. Has there been blizzards and snowstorms that I couldn't possibly anticipate? Of course, but it's not the regular occurrence for me. It's an absolute anomaly and very rarely happens. Uh, so what are some ways in our businesses we can make sure we don't fall prey to the if you snooze, you lose uh, idiom and expression? Well, we can have a decision-making process in place for our organization and for us personally. Even if it's something as simple as urgent, important uh, resources or plus or minus. My dad taught me the plus or minus uh, strategy of making quick decisions. When I was a little girl, my sisters and I, and he taught us, if you have to make a decision or a choice or if you're faced with an opportunity, how do you know if you should do it or not? It's even simpler than the plus or minus. You can just ask yourself, how does it make me feel? If I make this decision, how would I feel if I miss this and don't make a decision? Because a lot of times, if we wait long enough, the decision gets made for us. Procrastinators among us in the world, I've been known to procrastinate in my life, find out what happens to our grades and our opportunities and things if we wait too long to make a decision or a choice. So have a decision-making process, no matter how simple, for the big and the small things in your company and in your life so that you don't take a long time to make decisions. Usually people that do really, really well in business are 
quick to take action because they they have a way to quickly weigh the risks and the opportunities in any given opportunity, any product, any service, any idea that they have. They run those through their own personal decision-making filter first before they even decide if they're going to look into that possible project or idea further. To, secondly, have a plan. Have a plan with buffers so that you're on time, so that your goals and your objectives and your projects end up finishing when you say they're going to. Under promise, over deliver. Under promise, over deliver. I will say this till I turn blue. Under promise to your everyone except yourself. Don't under promise to yourself. Always deliver to yourself, but and always deliver to other people. Always over deliver, but take into account realistic. Hey, if it's going to take me three weeks to do this project, maybe you, you sell it to the customer. Hey, it's going to we'll deliver in four weeks because you know for sure it's probably going to take you three, and then you know that you'll find efficiencies and ways to shave time off that, but. You deliver it in two weeks and they're absolutely positively thrilled and delighted. But if you deliver it in four weeks and 25 minutes, they're going to hate you because you didn't meet the expectation. Be open and look for opportunities and possibilities because there are infinite possibilities and opportunities around every single one of us in our businesses, in our lives, in our relationships, in every area and aspect of our life. We just have to be willing to see them. Also, be excited and Always be painting the picture of the vision and what you're trying to create with your overall organization. And get everyone in your organization to buy into that too so that everyone is looking for ideas and opportunities to improve and make the business better because they feel they have a vested interest in the overall success of the organization. That is my take on if you snooze, you lose. Uh, it actually is traced back all the way to biblical times, not just the 1968 ad from Oshkosh, Wisconsin's mattress store. Uh, it's uh, It was definitely really popular by the 18th century, and people were using it. Um, the origin is not specifically known because it's been around since biblical times as well as uh, throughout history, but the 1968 commercial is what really made it uh take hold in modern day expressions, modern day proverbs, modern day idioms. That's it. Love to know your experience with this particular one. Like I said, I could tell you stories all day long about me using for my, with my kids, with the people that report to me, hey, if you snooze, you lose. Bob came in and, and said he wanted the project before you to be the project lead. Guess what? He's qualified. You're qualified. You're probably more qualified, but he stepped up and asked first. That's what happens. Those who show initiative get rewarded. Those who ask get rewarded. If you, if you never ask the question, the answer is always no. All right. Have an amazing day. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom, Proverbs for the first hundred days of this year. Uh, and then what it means, where it came from and how you might use it in your business and maybe even in your life today. Have an amazing day. Wake up. Don't snooze. We don't want you to lose out on anything that's really important to you.